All right, last basic preview of the new icons. Eddie Guerrero, icons of WrestleMania. He's a showboat. Now the promoter link at 21K Acrobat only earned 30% more boss shop currency from battle. Has links with the other icons. Now I don't know if it's cause I'm not feeling this one at all. I don't know if it's because he's a showboat and I typically don't like showboats or if it's because it's 6 a.m. and I haven't had time to go to sleep yet because I'm working on all these previews. So it might be because I'm tired as fuck. But uh, yeah, I'm not feeling this one. Let's give it a shot still though. Tilt the world backbreaker, 10 MP purple move, finisher deal 93k damage, choose 5 gems to make into yellow gems and pin the opponent. Low blow, 5 MP yellow move, deal 36k damage and increase the damage of all your gems by 99% for 3 turns. Does not affect bonus damage. And the eye rake, 6 MP purple move, deal 78k damage and gain 5 yellow MP. Trainers will use for that wood so that we get more purple and Ziggler so that we're, we're making more yellows. I don't really care about the amount of yellows we're making because, I mean, the low blow, it needs five and we're already making five. So that would be enough. And since we're boosting the gem damage and yellow is is highest gem damage color, I just want to make more of it because more damage. So we'll see how that turns out. As far as... Uh, skill plays go like you're making yellow it'd be nice if you get some purple with it uh, you do have what's this called actually you don't or do you no it's the other way around here it's time once again it's when you break purple you get yellow so it doesn't work and this one doesn't work either so I would probably go with a D DX plate or a blue bomber plate that make uh, that makes shit blow and you can uh, manually put your yellow on it to break it and since you do more damage break more stuff so yeah I'd, I'd go with the DX plate more most likely uh, you could go with the boss plate too since you're gonna be making a bunch of yellows that could be an option all right let's try that I'm gonna go versus Piper So we're a little short to be able to use that purple move, so use this. Increase our gen damage. That'll give us the opportunity to do it another time. Right now, since we boosted our gen damage, we're at 5.5k for the yellow. And increase yellow again. Do it once more. Now we got two stacks of the boost and we're at 8.2k each. And now we can make our yellows. Got a few purples with it. Probably gonna get out of that. He did as expected. Okay, increase our gen damage. And we're 
more dead in the water. We don't have purple, we don't have yellow. Is that purple still gonna be there next turn? Got a couple options for purple. Let's take this one. All that time messing around trying to get our purple, unfortunately, makes it so our yellow is back to 2700. Yellow. Increase the yellow damage. We're not gonna do it another time because God knows how long that's gonna take before we can do it again. We're at 5,500 right now. And there's barely any purple, unfortunately. So we can't really connect to much of that. I'll take those two here. he got out of it again I don't have a purple match anywhere That sucked. So let's not use that. Let's try something else. All right, let's try that a little differently. We're gonna switch the uh, the finisher, uh, not the finisher we had, but the uh, the tilt the world backbreaker. We're gonna get rid of that, and instead we're gonna use the three amigos, which is nine MP yellow move, deals sixty point four K damage, and choose four purple gems to destroy. Hopefully that should help the cycling a little better. Uh, for that though, we're gonna use Kofi in first so that we move on the yellows. And we're gonna use a Zombie Nakamura. It's gonna increase the damage of our yellow by 30%, which is not really a big deal. And it's gonna increase the amount of the gem that we destroy by four. Uh, I only needed two really, because I rate costs six. So if I destroyed six purple, that's better than eight really, because you do want some to remain there for the next time you're going to be doing it. So let's see if that works out better, or if we just grab all that yellow and purple shit and try the reds. We're going to increase our gem damage. We'll take actually both yellow and purple. So now our yellow is at 5,500 and the purple's at 3,500. We're gonna use another stack. We're gonna get another stack. Now we've got three stacks of 99% for three turns. Our yellow is at 11k and our purple is at 7k. Now, unfortunately, we're too close to the pin bar here. So even if we get this only six, it's going to be our turns over anyway. So we're going to get all we can. Actually, I'm still going to, I'm only going to take five. The reason for that is I kind of want some to remain there. My turn's gonna be over with five anyway. I'll get my sixth on the next turn. At least I got two there, because if I get those two, well, then I might not have purple for two more turns on the board. I'll get some yellow too. Here. Or not. One. 
Uh, he's probably gonna pin me on his turn. Which means we're gonna lose some of those yellow. Or uh, those uh, gem boosts. We don't really have any yellow or purple matches so far. Trying to move stuff around to make us one. There you go. So I got a purple match that I'll be able to do. This will give me yellow. Let's take another stack. I'll get my purple here, which is going to give me the remaining yellow for next turn. Wasting a lot of it, getting out of pins every turn. Right now, I don't even have one stack on. I'm losing a lot because he's pinning us like every turn. And being a showboat, you pretty much suck at getting out of pins. So you're wasting like two turns getting out of a simple pin. Use that. I need to get. No, I only have five, so that's what I'll get. That's not going to be enough to cycle or move again. At least we're going to get some yellow, though. This is taking a while. Alright, let's increase our gen damage. Let's get some yellows. Increase our gen damage. But you see, now we got the problem. There's only two yellows on the board. So that ain't gonna do shit for damage. And that's a long move animation. So now we got nothing to work with. <laughs> We're not that far away from a pin, though, so we're going to try it. And we're good. Uh, we got lucky on that one. I This definitely works better than the first one, just because I didn't lose. But, uh, yeah, that's far from something I do let's, uh Let's check if we can get to something that works better with the red moves instead. All right, last move sent on Eddie. I'm not convinced it's gonna be any better, really. It's gonna be the Frog Splash, 11 MP, yellow move. Finisher deals 221.3K damage and try to pin the opponent. The Lasso from El Paso, 8 MP, red move. Submission generate 12 random submission gems and do 53.7K damage for five turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into X break gems. And the belly to be belly to belly superplex 7 MP red move deal 51.1k damage and make seven random black gems into yellow gems. Now, three problems with that. First, your move that gets you your yellow is random black, not random gems. So it relies on having black and turning them into yellow and having those being close to other yellows to get a match. That's pretty poor randomness. Uh, you don't really have anything that gets you your red back, so you rely on the X break gem to get your red back, but those X could really lay down anywhere, not necessarily somewhere that you'll be uh, able to do a match, plus they're randomly selected anyway. So that's gonna be hard there. 
And that finisher, while it does do a lot of damage, you kind of need to get someone like uh, like Demon Mutant that boosts the yellow finisher to be a decent amount, plus have a big metal on it, but why would you use it, that rare metal on a character like this? Like, it's, it's, it's a stretch. Let's, uh, let's try it anyway. We're gonna use Butch, we're gonna use Orton, boost the finisher damage. There's not really anything else that you really can boost with anything. Uh, there's no point into putting Ziggler to get more yellows because you're probably not gonna have that many blacks on the board anyway. So let's just go Orton and boost that finisher and we'll see how that goes. I mean, 300 and something is still quite a bit at five star bronze. So we're going to lay down submission here, take out his MP, put on some axes. And there won't be that many left. Gonna get pinned. Okay, let's convert those blacks into yellows. None of them matched. I can break this one. If I break it, I'm not even getting a single yellow, so that's not going to be of much help. May as well break those. At least I'm going to get what I need. And let's just do 280k. He's a showboat, so there's always a chance that he's not going to kick out. Like I said, that's more a fluke than something working, really, though. Because <laughs> I had nothing to to keep on going after this. Like, I didn't have any MP of any color, so it's a good thing you didn't have to go. So, yeah, I'd, uh, I'm definitely not a fan of Eddie. Uh, to be fair, I'm also not entirely convinced I did the best job at it, though. I might have missed some stuff. I mean, at this point, I can barely keep up. I've been up for... 23 hours now and I still haven't uh, I still haven't mixed those videos and posted it and everything so not even close to getting to bed so yeah I might have missed some stuff on this one like I'm maybe <laughs> so that's pretty much it for Eddie I'd say he's my least favorite so far uh, but yeah we'll see at five star gold maybe he's better so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. G up. Ciao.